paralyzed for 40, going on 43 years. Yeah. Uh, I got pushed off the porch when I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing. <laughs> and uh, Jamie, up a deck road, went into the hospital for her <laughs> mm -hmm. for six months. You can go then did we do a rehabilitation down in Baltimore. I was down there for a couple of months. Uh, I can run my electric wheelchair a little bit oh, right. with the left hand. I do some oral painting or acrylic with my mouth. Yeah. So when it gets beeps once, he knows it's it was loud. my mom and dad, and right. twice it's somebody else. So yeah, as soon yeah. as it beeps that number of times, then what do you do? Blow into it. Blow into it, and yeah. then it'll call yeah. out. Yeah, it'll call out. Then I and then that, Pretty many then things. when she hits the button, it lifts, lifts up to get him out of bed. And then it rotates. Well, you move it so that then it's set him down in his chair. Yeah. It's a lot easier when he's you he can't really throw him over your shoulder like a sack of potatoes, even though that's how Grandpa did it for years. Oh he was hurt in a hunting accident. Um, there's actually most people think as soon as I say hunting accident, it's either a tree stand or something like that. But it's actually a gunshot. Um, a bullet had ricocheted off a tree. Um, and at that time I was 13 years old. How old are you guys? Nine. Nine? So Nine. I was just four years Ten. older than you. Three years older than you. When I, I was only I only missed school though for two months. Graduated high school. Um, went on to college. Uh, I went for elect. Uh, I can't even speak. Electronics engineering technology for a bachelor's degree. First time I was ever in a helicopter. Mm. They actually life flighted me out of the woods. And my biggest concern was where I was. They had a hard time walking to it with a backboard and stretcher. So they, I heard them on the radio saying, hey, we're going to lower a basket down. And, <laughs> lift you up to the and I was a little bit more concerned that I was going <laughs> to ride in a basket up through some trees <laughs> in a helicopter. Mm -hmm. And uh, Luckily, it was too thick to get the basket down, in. down into the woods. So, and it was too far to go back and get a stretcher. So one of the firemen took off his jacket, put me on a fireman's jacket, and carried me out to the field, put me in the bed of a pickup truck, drove me in the pickup truck to the top of the hill to where the helicopter could get to, got in a helicopter, and then flew to the hospital. And the bullet was actually, you know what? didn't bring it. I oh, know, I thought about it too. I just know. <laughs> it just hit me. You, the, uh, you mean you got the I bonus. still have the bullet because it was going, when it hit me, it slowed it well. Mm -hmm. So it was going so slow that when it hit me and went through and hit all the organs and the bones, it slowed it down. So when they x-rayed me, they thought they were going to have to go in and take out a bullet because the bullet was still in the x-ray. Well, they rolled me over and I had a hole, an exit wound, and that doesn't make sense if the bullet's still in the x-ray, but I have two holes. Here they dug through my clothing and it was laying inside my coveralls. Mm -hmm. um, where the bullet went in, and then see this slice? This is where they went in for, I don't know what they went in there for, I guess maybe for the lung and the broken rib. And then the little hole above it, right here, is they put a chest tube in. When they pull it out, they tell you to hold your breath, mm -hmm. and they just pull on it, and it's like a suction. <laughs> you can hear it just suction when they pull it out. Mm -hmm. But then they have the scar from here to here, which is where they went in and worked on my stomach. Um, they actually break your chest bone. Mm -hmm. You'll have to find it. It's about, it's probably about in there. Yep. There should be a little there hole. It is. Yep. I stand. You can see the uh, the scar where they put the rods in mm -hmm. the whole way down my the center of my back, and they used staples. I had uh, I think it was like 209 staples. So I throw my legs up in first, and then I just lift up. But now this is where I fell before, because <laughs> what I did was when I did it. I put the chair here and it slipped back under the truck and I went out over the chair. I'll just make her do the work and put it in the bed of the truck. Because <laughs> it's a lot easier and I don't screw anything And it's up. quicker. You don't have to take it apart. And it's yeah. a lot quicker. And, but the good thing with the permanent ones, 
or they mount to the back of the pedal so that when she wants to, if I let her drive this, I don't know <laughs> if she's going to get to, <laughs> that she'll be able to drive it with the pedals. Never lock my brakes usually. And I've only had it get away from me once. And in that situation, I went down my driveway into a ditch. Oh, Luckily, shit. I drive a pickup that I can just drive down here and drive into the ditch <laughs> and pick up it. the chair. <laughs> So then one time on here, I say, let her rip. <laughs> you click up, up, up. You click up. I think you're supposed to do an average. Yeah, they can just go. Yeah, you're, I don't know. Oh, wow. Since he's in here, see these things on the floor? Mm -hmm. You actually have to lock him in so he don't go all over the place when he's going down the road. You don't want to lose up the mountain. <laughs> Luckily, I just lock my brakes and hold on and hope for the best. 